In this snippet, we'll create a web page using Microsoft Notepad. To start with, I'll click Start and type in Notepad. There is Notepad. I will select it and begin typing in my code for my web page. Now, web pages start with the HTML tag. So there's the opening tag, and I need a closing tag. This is how the closing tag appears. The difference between them is the forward slash uh, before the H. So everything between the opening and closing tag uh, is going to be part of our HTML web page. Now there are two sections to a web page. We have a body and a head section. The head section will come first, and that will close the head section, and then the body section. And what these two sections do um, is separate the content of my web page, the behind the scenes content that typically like search engines will use to find uh, a web page, all the keywords and so forth, the title of a web page that appears in the browser itself uh, will appear in the head section. The content we're used to seeing in a web page, the text, the photos, uh, and so forth, all belong in the body section of our web page. So these are the two sections we've got to work with, and in this snippet we'll add content to both of these. To start with, I'm going to add to the body section the preamble to the United States Constitution. We've got enough content here to make a web page, so I'm going to choose File Save. The location I choose, I will choose for this is the desktop, so that we can actually work with this file. So I'm going to make sure that I have desktop selected. Come down here to the file name, and I'm going to give it a file name of index, and I'm going to add the .html extension. And what we've done is we've told it to save the file with the name index. The .html is referencing that it's going to be a HTML file. Uh, it's going to be a web page, not a text file. So I will choose save. And you see there, there's the file that we've got saved. So currently we're working with the text here uh, and we've saved a copy or a version of that here on my desktop. Now this is an actual web page. If I were to double click it, which I'm going to do, uh, it will open up the web browser and there it is, the preamble to the United States Constitution. So I've created a web page with this content and this is the code that makes up this web page. Now what I'm going to do is add some more content to this and show you how we're going to refresh the pages. Uh, I'm going to actually paste in the preamble here to the United States Constitution. And notice as I pasted it in the content, if I come back to my web page and hit refresh, this is the refresh icon or button, uh, nothing happens. And the reason being is because I need to save my changes that I make to the code before it appears or reflects on the actual web page. So I'm going to go, going to go, go ahead and choose File Save and come back to my web page and I need to refresh that content and there it is so what we've done is we've saved the code and now I've refreshed the web page to see the reflection of the changes that I've made notice that the preamble to the United States Constitution and then we the people uh, all runs together on my web page and the reason for this is that we need to format the content of my web page or my code in order for it to appear a certain way in a web page. Uh, so what we'll need to do is to start with, we're going to add the paragraph tag to the actual preamble itself. Uh, so before the word we, I'm going to add the P tag or the paragraph tag. And then after America, I'm going to close that paragraph tag. And what we're doing is we're telling the browser as it reads the content of my code in that this is a paragraph. And what it does is it will put a space or actually a double space um, around my text and kind of format it like you typically would a paragraph. So I will choose to save it, file save, come back to my web page and refresh the page. And there we go. So now we've got some space in between the actual uh, heading section of my web page and then also the content which is the preamble of my web page. 
Notice also that the text continues to wrap around the browser and not necessarily follow the, follow the rules that I have on the actual code. I've got we the people of the United States comma and then it returns to the next line. Here on my web page it did not return. And what this is is actually spaces and, and returns do not matter within the code. What we need to do is actually place code or formatting code into this or a formatting tag into this to actually say this is where we actually want the text to actually break. And so what we've got is a tag called the break tag. Now this tag does not need a closing tag. How this tag works is when the browser reads it, it actually knows to put or return the next amount of text or the next content on another line. So I'm going to demonstrate that by choosing file save. So I have a break tag here and as I refresh my web page you'll see that the content returned to the next line. It's a single line return or a single line break. Uh, and so what I want to do if I want the content here to match on my web or my web page to match that content what I'm going to need to do is put a break after each one of these lines of text. So there's a break, another break, another break, and the last break. And now as I save this, file save, I'll come back to my web page and refresh it. And notice now that the content on my web page does match the content that is in my HTML code. So what we've done is we've put breaks in and we've used the paragraph tag to demonstrate that it is a paragraph. We may also want to look at the fact that the preamble of the United States Constitution actually serves as a heading to my web page. We do have uh, six different options to choose for uh, pre-built tags for headings. I'm going to show you the first tag which is called H1 or heading 1 and then close my H1 tag so what this does is it says anything between this h1 tag and the closing tag uh, which is going to be this content that I have highlighted now uh, is going to be formatted with the h1 or heading 1 format and I'm going to choose file save come back to my web page and I'll show you how this will appear there we go so what this has done is it applied it, the, the formatting as a heading uh, which you can see it has made the text larger and bolded it, the text as well. Now there are six different headings to choose from. H1 is the largest and I'm going to work down to H2 now. And I'll choose File Save. And refresh my page. And you'll see that now the text has gotten smaller. I have H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 to choose from on my headings. H6 being the smallest, H1 being the largest. Now also notice here on this web page, the tab section here is giving me the file path to the actual file itself. We do not have a title on this web page. And so what I'm going to do now is come back to the head section and actually show you where we put in a title. I want the title to say the preamble. And what I need to do is I need to tell my web browser that this is the actual title of my page. So what I'm going to do is encompass the, the preamble text in the title tags. So title, and then close the title tag. There we go. And then the title tags belong within the head section of my web page. So now I'll choose File Save. Come back to my web page, refresh it. And there it is, the preamble. So this preamble title actually appears on the tab or it will appear on the title bar of my actual browser. And you can see there it does again appear the preamble and we've got the preamble. So that is the title tag itself. So in this snippet we've covered the HTML tag, uh, the head section, the title tags, the body section, the heading tags, the paragraph tags, and the break tags.